What's up guys, my name is Ryan and I want to walk real quickly through the five key elements to credit to easily help you understand how to build and better your score for the future. It's not that complicated. For most of you, what it's going to require is a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of time, and a whole lot of discipline. So let me just talk real quickly about the five elements that you need to understand. If you understand these five elements on their simplest level, you will definitely have a better score in the coming months or coming year. Number one, how long have you had credit? That's a great question to ask. Most people don't really know until they check Credit Karma or they check Credit Sesame, something that where it shows the actual age of credit history. That is 15% of your score. It's extremely important because if you don't have a couple accounts open and you haven't had them for any duration of time, chances are you're going to have a low credit score. Next, how much credit do you have and how much credit are you using? This comes down to what's called credit utilization or revolving credit utilization. How do you get revolving credit utilization? By having credit cards. Most people think that credit cards are bad for you guys. Credit cards are not bad. They're only bad in the hands of undisciplined people. The key is you want to have at least three credit cards. For most people, I would recommend cashback credit cards because they're the simplest. You just get the cash. You either apply it to your bill or they send you a check, however it works out. But it's very simple to have cashback credit cards for your gas, for your groceries, for your Friday night pizza, whatever the case may be. That's the simplest way to do it. But what credit card utilization actually is, is let's say you have a $1,000 limit and you're using $300. That is 30%. If you're using $700 on a $1,000 limit, that is 70%. The magic number is not 30. It's actually below 10%. But if you hit 30%, it's okay. Just make sure you're not running that bill up to 50, 60, 70%, because that will actually penalize your score on a very significant level. The next thing is how many accounts or what type of a credit do you have? This is what I call account diversification. How many accounts? You want to have several accounts. In fact, the magic number for accounts is 21. Most people don't know that. Most people would say that's not even feasible, but it really is. Um, it's a matter of understanding how to build those accounts and how to build your credit so that it, it actually will hit this goal. But the type or how many accounts you want to look at, you want to have again a minimum of three credit cards. And as far as account diversification, some people may have student loans, some people may have personal loans, some people may have an auto loan or a home loan or mortgage, or you may even have multiple credit cards. The key is to have a diversification of cards. When I got my house, my credit score jumped because it added a very serious trade line to my credit profile, and that actually boosted my score. It also, when you have multiple different types of accounts, it shows that you can manage your credit very wisely, assuming the next thing that you pay on time. If you can have multiple different types of accounts and you can pay all of those accounts on time showing good on time payment history, this accounts for 35% of your score. So payment history at 35%, credit utilization at 30%, and credit history is 15%. That totals 80% of your score. Now what's the best way to make sure you maximize all these different features? Monitor your credit weekly. There are awesome free tools. You should not have to pay for any apps. Yes, the credit scores, the Vantage scores on apps like Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, NerdWallet, WalletHub, Credit.com, they all will vary a little bit. And a lot of times they may not even be that close to your actual credit score, your actual FICO scores. But the point is, guys, it's the credit factors that make up your score. So you know if you see your credit cards have a high utilization factor, you know to pay them down because that will influence your score. Credit utilization can impact your score by as much as 100 points in a matter of 30 days. If you don't believe me, just try it. The second thing is when you're checking your credit every single day, if a collection shows up or if a derogatory remark shows up, you know it's there and you can deal with it right away versus two, three years of not knowing why your score is being impacted. So it's extremely vital and important to monitor your credit at least on a weekly basis. And by checking it on Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, NerdWallet, it will not hurt or influence your score. They are what's called soft pulls, and it's a daily or weekly monitoring service that you can use that is free. Guys, if you found this helpful, if you want to learn more about this information, click the link below. There's a whole lot more information. I could dive deeper into how all this stuff works, and I can break it down into the intricate details so that you can maximize your score and so that you can manipulate your score on a much more accelerated pace. So my name is Ryan Alexander. If you want to learn more, click the link below. I'd love to help you. Thanks.